Hi guys, welcome to Royal Logos. It's my pleasure to have you here and I really hope that you all are doing well. In today's tutorial, we will draw a logo design for an ice cream shop. I won't reveal the name as per the client requirements, but the client asked for a very, very minimal logo and should be a combination of pink and yellow colors. So let's start with the tutorial in Inkscape. So first of all, go to view and select it to wide. Now select the file and go to document properties and select the display units to pixels and custom units to also pixels. Change the width to 1280 and height to 720 pixels like this. And again go to view, select show and hide and make sure that all of the options are turned on. Now this is our command bar, go to this option and select fill and stroke again select this and select align and distribute menu now select zoom to fit to page now select the pen tool and draw a vertical line while holding down the control key like this and set the height of the line to say 450 pixels like this now go to fill and stroke menu and go to stroke style change the units to pixels and select the line width to say 3 pixels like this now go to object and select transform. In the rotate menu select the angle to say 30 degrees. Select this line and click apply. Now cancel this transform. Right click duplicate it and transform it horizontally like this. And to place it at this end go to the snap turn on the snapping and turn on the rectangle snap like this and place it at this end like this. Now select both of these lines, go to path and select combine like this. Now select the pen tool and draw a horizontal line from this point to this point while holding down the control key. Now go to fill and stroke menu and select the width of the line to say 55 pixels like this and select the round joints and round caps. Also reduce the opacity to almost 50% like this and then turn off this rectangle snap. Now select this object, right click, duplicate it and drag it vertically while holding down the control key up to this point like this. Again select, duplicate it and drag it here. Again duplicate it and drag it. Again duplicate it and drag it. We will make 5 such objects like this and then select all of these while holding down the shift key like this. Then go to align and distribute menu and select this equal vertical gaps like this. Now select the edit paths by nodes tool and select this object like this and drag it within the lines like this. Also this one. Remember that you have to drag the objects while holding down the control key like this and up to this point. Now select this outer boundary and delete it. Now select the circle tool and draw a circle while holding down the control key like this. And select the dimension of the circle to say 405 pixels like this. And place the circle at this point. Now select the circle and one of these lines go to align and distribute menu from the relative to select last selected and select this center to vertical axis like this. Now select all of the objects and drag it up to this point. Now right click and duplicate it and drag it up to this point. Now select this one and select edit paths by nodes tool and drag the circle from this circular icon like this and again like this. like this one. Now select all of these objects, go to path and select stroke to path, again go to path and select union. Now select this line and say its width which is 475.135. Now select this circle and give it this width 475.135 like this. Now select this circle and this line while holding down the shift key and from the align and distribute menu 
select the vertical axis and horizontal axis like this. Now again select all of these objects, go to path and select stroke to path. Now select edit paths by nodes tool and select this circle and now delete these points by clicking on delete key on the keyboard. Now drag the handles up to this point, also this handle up to this point and this handle to this point and also this handle to this point. Now select all of these objects, go to path and select union. Now select both of these shapes and reduce the dimensions by dragging this point while holding down the control key like this. And go to fill and stroke menu and increase its opacity to 100% like this. Now there are two different versions of one logo. Now it's time to give our logo some colors which we have already decided. You can easily see the colors from the color codes. Now select this object and select gradient tool and draw gradient from this point to this point. Now select the dropper and for this end we will select this color and for this end we will select this yellow color. Also for this one again select the gradient and drag a gradient from this point to this point. Now again select the dropper and for this end we will select this pink color and for this end we will select this color. Now you can delete this color codes by clicking delete on the keyboard. Now there we have two different versions of one logo. Now please tell me in the comment section that which one of the following you like the best and also suggest me that how this design can be improved. And if you think that this video helps you in some way then please like and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.